Did you know if you have a HomeKit ecosystem and a Plex Media server, you can integrate them together and make your lights go on and off when a movie starts and stops or pauses and play? In this Haterite how-to, I'm gonna show you how you can do this with HomeBridge. Let's discuss. For those of you who don't know what HomeBridge is, HomeBridge is a third-party home automation server that can be installed on a Raspberry Pi, Mac, or PC. And it allows you to integrate HomeKit with your smart home devices that don't natively support HomeKit. There are over 2,000 HomeBridge plugins supporting thousands of different smart home accessories. Now, I'm probably gonna make this into a series. I'll probably break this tutorial up in three parts because one video is just gonna get too long. So part one is probably gonna be the HomeBridge install process. Part two will be configuring HomeBridge with Plex. And then part three will be actually configuring HomeKit. Okay, so first we need to open up our web browser and then we're gonna open up three different tabs. Our first tab is gonna be Plex. From there, we're gonna open up webhooks. Now, I'm not gonna do anything with this right now, but we're gonna come back to it because we're gonna edit our webhooks. On our second tab, we're going to type HomeBridge in the search bar and hit enter. And then we're gonna select the one that says HTTPS HomeBridge.io. Now, if you look over to your right, you'll see some examples of compatible brands that you can add as plugins with HomeBridge. If you wanna see if a certain brand or device is supported by HomeBridge before installing, you can search for plugins here. Plugins are how you'll add your devices that aren't natively supported in HomeKit. So we're gonna scroll down to where it says, Install HomeBridge. Here, you can select which operating system you wanna install. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using a Windows machine with Windows 11. But if you need to install on a different operating system, there's a complete setup guide for each operating system. So we're going to select Install HomeBridge on Windows 10. So after I recorded this video, I noticed that HomeBridge updated their website. So when you click on the HomeBridge website and select Windows 10, it takes you to a setup guide for Hyper-V. We don't want that. You should see an option for both Windows 10 and Hyper-V. If you only see Hyper-V, then you need to type in this address in your web browser. And I'll also put the link in the description. Now I'm using Windows 11, so no worries. It works fine on either operating system. You can also install HomeBridge using Windows Hyper-V. However, I don't recommend doing so because I originally installed HomeBridge on Hyper-V and I had nothing but issues. So I just stay away from that one. Now we can start installing the components that we need to get HomeBridge up and running using the install guide. Step one is gonna be installing Node.js. Now you're probably wondering, what in the world is Node.js? So I'm not gonna get all technical and do a deep dive on what Node.js is. Just know that Node.js is a free open source server environment that runs on various platforms such as Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac OS, and Node.js uses JavaScript on the server. It's necessary for HomeBridge to run. So on our third tab, we're going to type Node.js in the search bar, and we're gonna select HTTPS Node.js.org and hit download. Next, we're gonna select current with the latest features. And we're gonna select 64-bit or 34-bit, depending on your system. And I'm going to select the .msi installer. Once it finishes installing, we're gonna open up our downloads folder, find the file, double click, and then we're gonna be prompted with a setup wizard. We're gonna hit next. Accept the terms. 
Next. And you can install Node wherever you want. I'm going to install it in the default location. We're going to hit Next. And I would recommend selecting Automatically Install the Necessary Tools. Next. And finally, Install. And then we're going to click Finish. After we hit Finish, another box is going to pop up and we can exit out of that. Now let's go back to our Homebridge tab on the web browser and our next step is to open a node.js command prompt as administrator. It's very important that you do this as an administrator. If you just open a normal command prompt, then this isn't going to work. To do that, you can either click on the Windows button and do a search or you can just hit search and search for command prompt. Then you'll want to right click command prompt and select run as administrator. Next, we want to confirm that node is actually working. So in our command prompt, we're going to type node, hit the spacebar, dash V. If it gives you a version, then you know it's working. Next, we want to check that NPM is working, so we're going to type NPM, hit the spacebar, dash V. Again, if it gives you a version, then it's working and you're good. Now, you may have to update the version if for some reason you're not running the latest version, and if so, it will tell you how to update. All right, so now we're gonna actually install Homebridge. So we can actually copy and paste the install command into our command prompt and hit enter. And if it doesn't let you paste using your mouse, just hit control V and it should paste. Next, we need to install Homebridge as a service. So we're going to copy and paste our command again and hit enter. Once it finishes installing, you should see a green check mark that says Homebridge setup is complete. And then it's going to tell us that we can manage Homebridge by typing in one of the following in our browser. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the IP address followed by the port number, and then I'm going to save that address in my favorites for easy access. I also like to add the Homebridge address as an additional tab on my homepage so that every time I open my web browser, it opens the Homebridge user interface so I don't even have to worry about it. So we'll open up a new tab and type in the Homebridge address. Next, you should see the login page for Homebridge. Congratulations, you're one step closer to integrating Plex with HomeKit. The login should be admin, admin for username and password. The Homebridge user interface will allow you to install, remove, and update plugins, and modify the Homebridge config.json. Now, a couple of disclaimers. In order for Homebridge to work properly, you're going to need to install Homebridge on a computer that's running 24-7. If you're just going to be using Homebridge with Plex, then you probably won't need to have your computer on all the time. But if you're going to be using Homebridge for other things like Nest and Nest security systems like I am, you'll want to keep it on 24-7. And second, 
I highly recommend using an ethernet connection instead of Wi-Fi. Homebridge doesn't run all that great when you're relying on a Wi-Fi connection. So if you can, go hardwired with ethernet so you always have a constant connection and you won't have to worry about Wi-Fi dropouts or signal interferences with other wireless connections or a bunch of wireless devices connected to your router hogging up all the bandwidth. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude it for part one of this tutorial. Now there's still two more parts. In part two, we're gonna start configuring Homebridge and adding our plugins so that we can add Plex to HomeKit. And part three is gonna be the final video where I show you how to configure Plex sensors in HomeKit. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss those videos as well as other home theater related content. And hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when part two and part three of this tutorial drops. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. These videos do take a lot of work and preparation and hitting the like button not only shows your appreciation, but it also helps the YouTube algorithm so that other people can find this video and it helps the channel grow. All right guys, well stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Haterade Cowboy and this is Haterade Cowboy Cinema.